app unlimited a stock that a lot of people either love or hate depending on the side of the trade that you are the big question we're going to be answering today is whether there's more upside for Appen, provided that the stock has rallied over 400% within the last four months. We have been fortunate enough uh, to make a couple of really good trades together with our VAP members during, during this uh, rally uh, from July to November 6, which is the date of this video. We're going to be exploring the fundamental aspect, the latest uh, third quarter result for FY24, remembering that uh, Appen reports uh, as per the calendar year, is a US company, uh, not as per Australian financial year. So uh, with uh, just one more quarter ahead, we uh, managed to put together a comprehensive uh, view of what the fundamentals could look like uh, for the end of this financial year for Appen and therefore uh, try to have a sense of uh, the financial result to look like and whether it could be positive or negative for Appen and how we could play this particular stock now. Let's have a look. My name is Les, I'm Chief Analyst of BG Trading Australia and I hope you are well. Today is November 7, 2024 and I would like to invite you to become a member of a free Facebook community before we start this video. We call that Buy, Grow and Sell Strategy for Share Traders. BG Trading page as well on a uh, Facebook. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and uh, let us reach more people by hitting the like button as well. I want to remind you this, this is not a financial advice, it's just us from BG Trading sharing with you how we apply our strategies together with our VP members to chase 20 to 40% profit within one to three month time. Now let's dive into uh, straight into the chart formation for Appen and try to understand uh, what the chart is telling us and then we're going to move towards the fundamentals. I know most people like only look in the chart, but if you are uh, into uh, investing in stock, you really have to understand the fundamentals and what the macroeconomic outlook is uh, for the next uh, six to 12 months within this particular sector. Okay, using our uh, indicators, as you can see, we can uh candles uh, and then uh, SMA 40, which is the red line, SMA 250, which is the pink line, uh, volume and RSI, relative strength index. So we combine them together. So as you can see, uh, the stock has rallied substantially. There are a uh, few um, lots which we have traded, which was this first one here from uh, 40 uh, cents level. And then there's another lot of, uh, of uh, rally that we, tr we traded. And it looks like uh, from the chart formation, looks like we could see a, a potential breakout of $2.30 resistance level. So essentially, Appen is trading under this range here, $1.90 to $2.40. And I think it is uh, fair to say, if you're gonna trade this, uh, you probably will be looking at setting up a target just under this resistance level. Now, should the Appen break out this resistance level, I would be looking at uh, $3.00. Uh, next uh, target, okay? Obviously, there is a great deal of risk, depends on how long that breakout uh, could take to happen, all right? And the key uh, risk here is the company still struggle to uh, bring uh, sust sustainable growth uh, to the business, and I'm going to show you uh, in a few minutes. So if you are looking at buying this for long term, just be aware of the fundamental aspect of this particular stock, which I'm going to be sharing you in a few minutes. Now, RSI looks uh, constructive here. We most likely will see uh, this is a bounce and we could see a potential like, like further rally. Uh, 
the the, the red flag for me here is that the the long term moving average is way uh, below uh, the current share price, which puts from the long term uh, perspective. Uh, happen at uh, extremely formal area. So you just got to really be careful because that's when if the fundamentals doesn't match or macro doesn't match, we have those huge crashes upon a uh, some result. But the market like the, the third quarter results, I'm going to explore why. Uh, and then obviously that third quarter result could uh, trigger a uh, uh, for the rally, the company also is well cashed with sixty around sixty four million dollars cash after the recent capital raising as well now let 's have a look on um, on the fundamental side so i 'm going to move it straight into the my uh, view on the uh, updated analysis three q f y twenty four so revenue for a three key f y twenty four was down thirteen percent year on year that 's because they lost Google last year and you probably know that one of the reasons that happened went down to a few cents. However, why did the market like this result because uh, the revenue without Google has actually increased 35% year on year. Look, uh, the underlying result is still negative. That's the key. It's still negative, but the company is kind of uh, bringing back revenue. is still 13% below what was last year. That's the... That's what we need to understand. Even though it's bringing more revenue, obviously there's a huge hype around AI companies and uh, Appen has effectively become one of these uh, AI uh, leading uh, players in terms of uh, uh, trading opportunity here on ASX. And that's why it goes up quite substantially, but also go comes down quite substantially. So very high risk stock. I mean, like I wouldn't, this is a speculative uh, investment stock. Even on the trading, it's a bit speculative as well. So the EBITDA for this quarter was uh, positive. Underline EBITDA was one million dollar, very modest, you know, comparing to Zip, for example, which is a completely different company, though. But it came up around thirty million dollars uh, uh, EBITDA. So that's what we gotta understand. So uh, the numbers are very, very uh, weak and small for this particular stock. So the rally, in my opinion, is not very sustainable. What's what's make happen uh, stock price to grow so remarkably is the fact that it's a hyped stock is being hyped on into a sector. So improved $7.5 million uh, from uh, the last year quarter, which was a loss. The cash position uh, is uh, relatively positive, where the company was sitting with within 30 million. Uh, the cash position, the app, Apple cash position is relatively positive with cash on hand recorded uh, $30 million by the end of Q3 with addition of $50 million raised uh, through a institutional placement in October uh, with overall cash balance of $62 uh, million, which is pretty much in line to what we, we said that before. Cost management also has improved, which is uh, positive, which is the key reason uh, why Appen is now turning to uh, EBITDA positive. Uh, but the problem is with this uh, uh, company is this, and then that's when I hi uh, highlight as a red flag. Uh, achieving cash EBITDA profitability for twenty uh, for, for for the full year twenty four is uh, most likely not going to happen. It's most likely not going to happen, and and this is why if you uh, if we analyze every single month uh, whether the company uh, is uh, EBITDA positive or EBITDA loss, so we will see that our expected EBITDA for the full year, and that's still depending on the last quarter result, 
for the last uh, three months of this uh, financial year. We are expecting a EBITDA loss of $14 million for the full year, okay? The market is extremely excited about this particular stock, but in February when this company, unless I'm completely wrong here, but in February when this company report a $40 million loss, uh, on its uh, earnings before interest, tax, uh, and depreciation. Uh, that could be one of those huge uh, crashes on the stock. So if you want to trade, if I'm going to be trading this stock, I will be looking at trading anytime between now and start sort of closing uh, my position in January, hoping for the stock to rally into my target. Again, Trade stock requires a target. I wouldn't buy, this is not a recommendation, okay? But I wouldn't be buying this stock if you uh, have no target, guys. You have to have a target. So sell there and wait to see what's happening with the full year result. Obviously, I'm not accounting for any potential uh, uh, extra count the app and my gain with from now uh, towards to the end of uh, the financial year, but we haven't heard anything really apart from uh, Chinese business picking up. So it really depends on um, on the full year result. So I wouldn't be holding uh, this particular stock in February when. Uh, Appen will likely to report its full year result and will be another uh, lost for the year. Uh, probably not as bad as the last financial year, it's still an improvement, but why are you going to speculate in the company that, are, that, that is a, a huge loss if you can buy a company that most likely will be reporting a, a, a EBITDA profitable for the full year and a net profit for the full year of the half a year in this case, uh, for example, like Zip or any other, co or any other more like more financially health stocks. So just keep that in mind. Appen, I would say, is a little bit better than other AI companies like Brainship, despite the business completely different. Uh, like brain chip or uh, Webit Nano, but it still poses extremely high risk, especially when it is trading at the formal levels for the long term. Okay, uh, trade stock, uh, but you just gotta be careful to close the trades between now and uh, potentially a February full year result for this particular co uh, company. Hope that was valuable. Let us know what you think. If you don't agree with that, please put it in the comments below. If you agree, also put it in the comments. Um, we'll be answering every single comment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.